Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail. So, we just uh, finished a nice little battle, captured some uh, lovely trophy ships. Let's go through them all. Um, we have a lot of reputation, so I am going to add a few of them to the fleet to sell. And uh, we're going to send a few to the Admiralty. We'll, and we'll add those two to the fleet proper after we sell the Sphinx, Valiant and Shark. Let's see if I can remember that. Um, Sphinx, Valiant and Shark. Let's see, we're going to add the... definitely add you. And you. So before I forget. We're just gonna pop. Uh, our captain. Or admiral. I'm the Sarah. Th that name. Um, Spanish 1752 Yeah And since this is a new flagship I do want to Upgrade The cannons on this To be uh, proper big Not carronades though I am not sure about that because of range but uh, we'll definitely get some big boys uh, on board 18 pounders 32 and 32 let's uh, get her fast as well that's a pretty good crew but we'll worry more about the crew later we have a uh, mission to send some ships to only 99% success. Um, let's see. Yeah, you work. Uh, you don't work. Ah, you do. We'll just uh, do that. Oh. Uh, there we go. Let's uh, start that mission. And uh, end the chapter. Treaty of Alliance. My voyage to Europe was successful for myself and American cause. The British took the lesson that their homeland is not impregnable. I've convinced the world that the arrogant empire is actually vulnerable and hurt her public credit. After long negotiations with France, we succeeded to sign the Treaty of Alliance on February 6, 1778. Our new American Republic was formally recognized as an independent state of sovereign American nation. Hostilities soon followed after Britain declared war on France March 17, 1778. France is going to send 40,000 soldiers and a huge fleet to help us. It is time to return back to America. The war is not yet over. British command... Oh, British command contacted me and offered to pay for captives. Um... Yeah, we'll just do it for the money. Something. Ooh, 50% funding, that's good. Now we only have bonuses. Still not, still far from enough to bring even. Did I not get the rewards for that previous mission? Oh, they're still in battle, okay. Oh, that's annoying. So we have two uh, battles. Friendly Need and Savannah. September is before uh, October. What can we bring here? Six ships. Uh, I mean, we have a couple of uh, ships. I think that. Yeah, I think that this will be good enough. Uh, is it? Is it enough? Uh, 
I think maybe I want to get uh, another one for more uh, cannon. This one, the logistics one is terrible. So let's do the physical training. Uh, okay, so we need some uh, 38 muscular and sword bayonets. Um, that's the regular. Here we go. Considering how much cash we have, let's buy three grand of it. And let's see. We'll get. Uh, not quite how much I want, but whatever. And we'll buy. 25 grand of. 2500 of these. So now we should have uh, weapons for a while. And you need an officer. Yeah, let's get to Goodwill and let's just get a bunch of uh, bunch of ca cannon. Uh, cannon. You. Um, what kind of cannon do we have in our armory? Four pound of brass. How many do we have left? Um. Wait, can I dismount? This. Let's see. I send you to reserve. That will be overload. Yeah, okay. Let's just uh, assign her to the goodwill. Good enough for now, really. So, uh, let's head to the Battle of Savannah. The city of Savannah, Georgia, has fallen into British hands. It is time to recapture it and send to His Majesty a strongly worded message regarding the termination to our cause. You have been assigned to advance your army by land and attack the British defending the city. Our French allies will also take part in the assault under your command. Four regiments of Royal Fusiliers have been dispatched from Saint-Dominique and will meet you on the field. We expect strong resistance from the British who have strengthened their defenses. General Benjamin Lincoln has suggested to use field artillery to soften up their positions. And uh, I agree with that sentiment, which is why uh, I took that extra unit of cannon. They're only four pounders, but they are still cannon. So, uh, favorite, all true love, Minerva. And goodwill. Let's start. Captain, the French have arrived and are eager to commence the assault. The British have built a wooden redoubt on Spring Hill that overlooks the town, garrisoned mostly by Hessian regiments. If we capture and hold that hill, the city is ours. Godspeed, Captain. Okay. So let's have these guys form here. Let's have these guys just uh, piss off somewhere. And let's have these guys form on the flank. I'd rather keep the supply for the money, you know. Okay, so judging by the position... They're in, we're going to have three units as backup units. And our main force will consist of uh, these guys. Oh. 
Oh, do these guys bring backup? Yeah, that does look like backup. Okay, that's a shame. Let's see. We need to... Oh. Oh, bollocks. Okay, so they have quite a bit of cannon at least. Okay, so we have to move at the very least over there, I believe. No. Can I dispatch skirmishers? Yes, I can. You might ask, why am I dispatching skirmishers? Well, because I'm gonna use them as scouts. Hopefully, at least. Okay, these cannons are not firing back. We're gonna take it slow and steady. Excellent. Okay, let's give them a moment to rest. Yep, they're uh, dispatching marines. Let's head uh, a bit closer. Oh, they have some cannon over here as well. Okay. That does limit our flanking uh, opportunity. Okay. Um, shoot the cannon. Can you reach there? Counter battery fire has the first priority. You start shooting there. Okay, let's just hold fast while uh, this gets bombarded. Excellent. Oh. Looks like they're sending in an offensive. Let's uh, take out these scouts. See what we're presented with. And then maybe use these guys to attack. Okay, they have a defensive line here. They have some cannons. Okay, fall back. Let's take care of the mortars. The infantry should be able to hold the line with no problems. Okay, 
I'm more worried about what the damage the mortars can do. So uh, if we don't give them any rest... Okay, let's uh, go back to shooting infantry. Skirmish shadow doesn't really come as a surprise, that was my fault. Okay, let's move forwards a tiny bit. That means also you guys. Shoot uh, mortars. Speaking of mortars, we can uh, take possession of them. Oh, no. Yeah, we need to move up a bit more. Let's uh, move up to the road. Let's have you guys. Oh, let's have you fall back. Let's start an attack here. If I can YOLO it. Just to get rid of those cannon. Mission accomplished. Okay, this will allow... No, I want to keep them here. Okay, realistically, get into position here. Let's take these four, move them over here. Let's have one guy take possession of the... ...of the mortar. Let's have you take possession of... Try to take possession of the cannon. Okay, you guys start your attack. Awesome. Uh, let's have you move away. Let's have you keep on uh, your assault.
You shoot there, you shoot there. You shoot there. Awesome. Let's keep on attacking Morley. You attack there, you also attack there. You no, need to keep on attacking Morley. Okay. Attack Davidson. Let's have you take possession of those cannon. Ali. Let's fall back with Washington. Ah, never mind. Let's have Chuck join the battle. Cold Spring Hill is our mission objective. Should be doable. Let's have you stand there in position. Okay, excellent. Uh, let's move the cannon into... We can finish. Excellent, then we're gonna finish. Okay, excellent. We uh, lost a bit more uh, men uh, than I had hoped trying to hold the uh, hold the fort. But it is what it is. We did uh, end up winning. Hold the hill, I mean. And we got an award. The Navy Distinguished Service Medal. The Navy Dicta Distinguished Service Medal is awarded to officers serving in a duty or position of great responsibility to recognize distinguished or exceptionally meritorious service to, our, to the Navy in performance of their duties to the colonies. Awesome. Savannah. The mighty Hessians could not match the bravery and determination of our men. Today was a great victory paid for with a heavy toll in blood and men. An unfortunate but necessary tribute towards the fight for liberty. The men now engage in revels with our French allies that fought by our side. Today, we have sent another message to London that our will is mightier than theirs. Awesome. So we can uh, pop another point in there to uh, save some more cash. And... Uh, wait. I just realized I have not... Yeah, okay, only small boats. Shame. But yeah. Savannah has been a victory. I do hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe and all of that. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.